Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to present exercises with union, intersection, containment, and equality of sets. The first exercise states, if A is a set, then the union of A and A is equal to A, and also the intersection of A and A is equal to A. At this moment, if you want to try this exercise on your own, feel free to pause the video, and if you want to comment your solution, I'll do it below. Uh, right now, if you want to see a certain approach to the solution of the problem, continue watching. So for the first part, that is to prove that the union of A and A is equal to A, we need to notice that this conclusion is an equality, is an equality of sets. And an equality of sets can be proven by equivalences. Equivalences are the statements that have an if and only if in their wording. This can also be shown by this double-sided arrow. So in order to do this proof, we are going to start with S in A union A. By definition, this is going to give that S is in A or S is in A. It is important to have in mind that definitions are always equivalent. So this step is an equivalence. Also, from this point, we can use a logical equivalence uh, that comes from the connector OR, that is, if OR is connecting a, a statement with itself, uh, we can take one of these statements out. So we are going to have if and only if S in A. Uh, this is going to be an argument that starts with S in A union A, and it ends with S in A. And everything is connected by a QLSS. So this is going to say that S in A union A, if and only if S in A. The, the first and the last idea are equivalent. And moreover, this entire idea in here is the definition of equality of sets. So from here on, we can go and say, therefore, A union A is equal to A. And that would be all for this part of the proof. So now we can go for part two. Part two is again an equality of sets. So we can again start with S in the intersection of A and A. We use the definition of intersection. So S is in A and S is in A. This is just the definition of intersection. Now we are again going to use a logical equivalence, but this is a logical equivalence of the connector AND. And again, similar to the connector or if we have and connecting the same clause, eh, we can eliminate one of them. So if and only if S is in A. And now we have an argument that starts with S in A intersection A and it ends with S in A. And everything is connected by equivalence. So these two ideas are equivalent. So S is in A intersection A, if and only if S is in A. And this again is the definition of equality of sets. Therefore, A intersection A is equal to A. And this would be it for part two. And also, this would be it for exercise number one. A. Exercise number two says, let A and B be sets. Then A union B is equal to B union A. And also, A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Now, uh, Please try this exercise on your own. There is not going to be a proof about this exercise on this video. However, it is going to be used in this video and the proof is going to come in, a, in another video in a later time. So now for exercise number three, let A and B be sets. And now we want to prove that if B is containing A, if and only if, a is equal to the union of A and B. Okay, okay. Uh, feel right now, if you want to, you want to try this exercise in your own, uh, feel free to pause right now the video. And if you want to show the solution, uh, please comment. If you want to see a certain approach for solving this exercise, uh, continue watching. So this time it is interesting because what we want to prove 
is an if and only if statement, this is an equivalence. And one thing important to remember about proving equivalences is that in general, they are a two-part problem. What two parts? Well, there are two implications. If B is contained in A, then A is equal to A union B. And also we have the other part. If A is equal to A union B, then B is contained in A. Furthermore, as a note, uh, from the first part, the conclusion is an equality of sets. And for this case, it is important to have in mind that an equality of sets can be proven by two containments. Which two containments? At least for this case, uh, we are going to have A contained in A union B and A union B contained in A. In general, it will be the same pattern. So right now, let's just pull over what is going to be our new restatement of the exercise. And again, if we prove the restatement, it's the same as proving the original statement. So our restatement is going to be let A and B be sets. If B is contained in A, then A is contained in A union B, and A union B is contained in A. Also, if A is contained in A union B and A union B is contained in A, then B is contained in A. This would be the entire thing that is in some way hidden from the short statement from the original, the original statement of the exercise. It's a little bit too much to pack, but this is all that we need to prove. So, okay, we can start at this moment. Uh, also, if you want to try again at this moment, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, feel free to post the video at this moment. And if you have a solution from this moment on, uh, feel free to comment down below. Also, if you want to see how would the proof continue from this approach, uh, continue watching. So for part one, suppose that B is containing A. So, okay, we can have a, an exercise that we already know that it is true. This is a property of union of sets. So A is always contained in A union B. That is already given. And now we are going to use our information from the start of the problem, that being that B is containing A. And by an exercise also from union of sets, this is going to give that B union A is contained in A union A. Now, from exercise one, we have that A union A is equal to A. And from exercise two, remember, we do not have a proof on this video. You can try it on your own, but there is going to be later on a video with this proof. That is that B union A is equal to A union B. And okay, so the last three declarations that we have, uh, they can be used all together with a property of equality that would give us that A union B is containing A. And now we are going to drag on the first idea that we have, the first claim, uh, which is A containing A union B. And now, from what we have already seen, this is going to imply our equality that we want. That being said, A is equal to A union B. So this would be all the steps, all the procedures for the first part. Okay, now we can move on to part two. For part two, we are now going to suppose our, our entire idea. That is, A is containing A union B and A union B is containing A. From the union of sets, again, we have that B is contained in B union A. This is a property of union of sets. It has been done on exercises on previous videos. Now from exercise two, again, there is no proof in this video. There will be a proof on a later video. Uh, B union A is equal to A union B. And now here we are going to use a logic step. Uh, our initial idea for part two is connected by and. So we can use any of the two parts. In this case, we are 
going to use the second part, that being A union B is containing A. And from the first two claims, we can use a property of equality, and that is going to give us that B is contained in A union B. And we are just going to drag on the third claim, and our new claims are going to imply a contention that we want due to a property of containment that has already been done in a previous exercise, in a previous video. So we are going to have that B is containing A, which is what we want. This would be the end of part two. And since exercise number three only had two parts, uh, this would be the end for exercise number three. Okay, now we have somewhat of the analogous exercise for number three. Number four is using the intersection. Let A and B be sets. A is containing B, if and only if A is equal to A intersection B. Okay. Feel free to pause the video at this moment if you want to try the video, on the exercise on your own. Also, if you get a solution and you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. If you want to see a certain approach for solving this exercise, uh, feel free to continue the video. So, okay, we are going to start uh, restating the original statement uh, because it is an if and only statement, an equivalence statement. So let A and B be sets. If A is containing B, then A is containing A intersection B, and A intersection B is containing A. That's the entire statement that we want to prove uh, to, to contain it. And the second part is going to be if A is equal to A intersection B, then A is containing B. Okay, let's start with the first part. So, okay. We need to suppose that A is containing B. And from the very start, we are going to use a property of the intersection of sets uh, that was done in a previous exercise, in a previous video. And we are going to intersect our containment of A and B. So this is going to give us that A intersection A is contained in B intersection A. We are going to also use exercise number one that is A intersection A is equal to A, and also we are going to use exercise number two. In this case, we are going to use the intersection part, and that is B intersection A is equal to A intersection B. Furthermore, we also have an exercise of intersection, which is that A intersection B is always contained in A. This was also done in a previous video. Now we are going to use the first three ideas, the first three claims, and this is going to give us containment. Which containment? This is going to give us that A is contained in A intersection B. We are just using a property of equality, that being of substitution. You can check uh, properties of equality when I video in the channel. So we are going to also use the first, the, fir the, the last claim uh, together with the claim that we just got, and that is going to give us quality that we want. This would be all for part number one. Okay, let's go for part number two. And for part number two, we are going to suppose that A is equal to A intersection B. Okay, now we are going to use one of the properties of equality, that is that we can break it into two containments, and those containments are going to be A is contained in A intersection B, and A intersection B is contained in A. Okay, now we are going to use uh, the logic step that we can use any of the two parts of an statement connected by AND. And in this case, we are going to use the first part. So A is containing A intersection B. We are going to use an exercise 
of intersection of set that was done on a previous video that is that B intersection A is always containing B and also we are going to use exercise number two B intersection A is equal to A intersection B and so the last two claims are going to give us the containment of A intersection B in B and using the the first claim together with the second claim and a property of containment that was done on a previous video, we are going to get the containment that we want for the second part of exercise four, that is that A is containing B. And that would be it for the second part and for the entire exercise. So let's move on to exercise number five. Exercise number five states that A and B be sets and a union B is equal to A intersection B if and only if A is equal to B. This is a very interesting statement. Uh, at least the first part of the equivalence could be somewhat of a inquiry because maybe one has the question of, well, when are the union of two sets equal to the intersection of those two same sets? Well, there is really nothing to do. That only happens when those two sets are equal. Or at least that is what we want to prove. <laughs> so, okay, uh, at this moment, uh, feel free to post a video if you want to try this exercise on your own. If you have any solution similar or different to the solution that I would give in this video, feel free to comment. Or if you want to see a certain approach for solving this exercise, uh, feel free to continue the video. So, okay, we are going to again uh, restate this original statement in order to have the parts of the equivalence. So we are going to have on the restatement let A and B be sets. If A union B is equal to A intersection B, then A is equal to B. And also, if A is equal to B, then A union B is going to be equal to A intersection B. This is what we want to prove. So for the first part, I suppose that A union B is going to be equal to A intersection B. Okay, so right now, I'm just going to go for a couple of claims that we already know that are true. A is always contained in A union B. A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. This is due to exercise number two. Also, we have that B intersection A is contained in B. This is a property of intersection that was done on a previous video. All of this uh, give us that A is contained in B due to properties of equality, that being that we can uh, substitute their values. Now we are going to use again our initial information, that being that A union B is equal to A intersection B in order to get the, the, the other containment that we need, the B is containing A. But now we are going to uh, flip a little bit our next claims. Now we are going to claim that B is containing B union A that B union A is equal to A union B, and that A intersection B is containing A. All of these are properties that have already been proven on a previous video, or even more exercise number two. And all of these due to properties of equality are going to give us that B is containing A. And here we have the two containments that we need in order to get the equality A equals B, which would be enough for part one. So we can now move to part number two. So okay, for part number two, uh, we are going to suppose that A is equal to B. Then by the property of equality that we have been using again and again and again, that being substitution, and now we are going to have that A union A is equal to A union B. And the idea is that we just replace the second A for B. Also, we are going to have that A intersection A is equal to A intersection B. 
And also, we are going to use a exercise number one, a union A is equal to A, and A intersection A is equal to A. And now, just using the property of equality, that being a substitution, we just land into A union B is equal to A intersection B. And that would be it for exercise number five, part two, and the entirety of exercise number five. Uh, this would be all for this video. Let me know if you like the video. Uh, you can leave me questions, comments, and your own solutions. If you want me to treat certain topic in which you're interested, let me know. Thanks for watching.